for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today we're going to be going over our daily sniping filters. So, our last video might seem kind of familiar to what I'm saying now, but the difference is, is that the other one was me explaining the market and my thoughts on it and how I think it's going to be going forward. This one's just purely talking about today, what, how I think you can make coins pretty quickly just sniping, and, um, that's it. So like I've been saying every video because it's been very relevant to what you guys are doing. Just want to thank you guys for the support. We just gained another few subs. We're at 342 now, which is crazy to think of. I didn't think I'd be here so fast. Like, I know it's not, like, a lot, but, like, for me, it's a lot considering I was at zero a month ago. So, like, not to mention I was at 215, like, a week ago. Like, that's just crazy, the support you guys have been showing. So keep it going. Everyone watching this video right now, go drop that sub. If you guys keep dropping the sub, it's like, everyone's literally, well, I'm asking and you guys are doing so. I'm just going to keep asking because you guys... I'm saying drop the sub and you guys are like, you guys could literally have me by to maybe 380 by tonight and 400. I'm estimating 400 by tomorrow night with the way you guys keep it up. So just everyone go drop the sub and just you, you guys could literally control the growth. Like you guys go, you could all just, everyone go drop the sub and just watch me, watch me grow. But come again to the video. Thank you guys. Just want to thank you guys again. So we get down to program. We go to, let's start with the legends today for the lower guys because a lot of the lower guys have been asking me. The Legends market's kind of died ever since the um, No More Fantasy Packs or No More Drops of Legends. So these right here, these 86s, you're going to probably want to filter them out because obviously you're not going to get the good snipes this way. These are even these are even too much. This one's... Oh, these are down, down. Okay, hold up. Let me see if I can... You know what? This is going to be too much effort for you guys, so let's stick to the Combine players because... The legends are too overpopulated to the point where you'll be better off sticking to something that's... And these will sell quicker. These 86s will definitely sell quicker. Okay, so let's see. All, all offense. I don't think these are properly... Let's see if we can do my cap value for you guys. You know, I, I don't really pick up this. I don't really do this stuff before video because I want to show you guys during the video me doing it because I feel like it's more... From my standpoint of always being a viewer, it's more confusing when people do things off camera and then come onto the camera and just expect us to just follow what they're doing. I feel like watching me do it and just watching the thought process behind it is a good way of explaining it. So, I mean, that's kind of overpopulated at this point, so it all depends on the time of day, but it's really overpopulated. But you're going to want these for about 11 to 12K if you're looking for, like, a 3K gain. If not, even if you can get them, I mean, obviously anything cheaper. So, you want them anything cheaper than, for just to get a profit, let's say a profit, you want these to be, these have to be cheaper than 13500 Now, do you want to really buy them for that price and have to worry about selling them for literally a gain of, like, a 1,000 coins, maybe less? Probably not. But again, people people need the coins more than others, so you know, can never judge on that one. Now the 87s are 17k, but looks like so you're gonna want these for about 12k is what I recommend. Anything under 12k is the recommended price for these. And the 86s shouldn't be this high. I mean, I guess the 87s are the best bet actually. You want these for under 12k. We'll bring you back a net profit of about like four to five k every time, depending on how much under you go. Now if we go back up on these, check out the 88s, 89s. These are okay. These are less saturated. Because I'm doing it by cap value. So the 89s are 26k. Let's see what the there's no 88s. Let's see, let's see about a whole. Okay, as a whole, it's oversaturated. But the 89s you guys saw, if you can stay within there, you're gonna want these for about 18k. You could probably quick sell them, not quick sell them, sell them back for about 26 to 28k. We'll net you about about 8k every time that's a really good really good sniping method for many people these are probably the easiest to do right here the 89s not too saturated it's a good amount and you can probably just city refreshing by team all you'll probably get some here and there again you just need, you just need patience it's all about patience sniping's never been about not so much skill it's more about like just knowing where to snipe and how much time you're willing to put into it it's like anything in life the more time you put into it the more you'll get out of it i mean there's no other way to you know there's no secrets right now like this filter is going to get you 100k every five seconds. Like, no, it's all about, it's kind of luck, but I got, I'm, I just got to set you guys up. So, like, I set you up to be in the right spot and set you up to know exactly what you're doing. And then from there on out, it just comes up to you, like, how long do you want to sit on it? Because, like, for a lot of people, you know, you sit on it for about two hours, you get nothing. And that one minute you get off, that was the 250 coin snipes. You always get it. You got to just stay on it. These are actually heading up. I'm not liking the way they're trending. They're heading back up. I kind of liked it when they were lower. Which is weird because the collection is getting cheaper and these some of these cards are getting more expensive, but at least than they were. So if we go by cap value on these, 51 to 60. These are actually, it might be too big there. Hold up. See if I can get this like a little more. 
All right. So we're going to probably do this by all offense and all defense. Again, I know what I'm doing, so I don't want you guys thinking that, like, I'm just making this up as I go. Like, I'm just trying to do it with you guys so you guys comprehend what I'm doing. So all offense. Damn. All right. Is it mainly defensive players here? All right. So it seems like none of these. Okay. Something's definitely up. All right. Just stick to all. There's, like, not that many on the block, so I guess you can't even. Damn. These are empty. All right. So... Head on over to the 96s, I guess, because that, that's done. I mean, you can snipe those for about 85k, but that's not much of a profit, and they're kind of dead. These cards are so cheap right now. If you guys ever want, like I said in the other video, if you ever wanted one of these cards, you have two options here, so you could buy them now. But realistically, the cheapest they're ever going to be is after this promo is over. The cheapest they're going to be during this promo is right around here. 380k is probably the cheapest they'll get during this promo. But when the promo is over, these cards will be about probably 250 to 300k. So, I mean, if you want to wait... Not a bad idea, but these cards are glitchy. Like, this Pat Peterson's glitchy. This Telvin Smith is glitchy. Odell's glitchy. Odell was just forced, like, 16 a minute ago. Now he's back to 441. McCaffrey's glitchy. So, like, if you guys want any glitchy cards, this is the time to be getting them. I can't tell if people are just giving up on the game at this point or... Because, like, usually a glitchy card, like, all these cards would be fine. 400k, but the glitchy cards would always be up really high price. But I guess at this point of the year, a lot of people already have their team set. Like, I've like I been alluding to a lot is that a lot of people have their team set, so... A lot of these cards might not be as valuable anymore because do you really want to undo your theme team or undo your Dion Champ Bailey, Kyle Fuller, fully powered up for a Pat Pete? Like, obviously he's better, but is it worth all the coins? I believe this Pat Pete's way worth it. But again, if you're not, I was in a situation where I could sell my Fuller. But if you had him powered up, do you really want to unpower everything? Now, going up to the 98, you got this Chris Johnson. There's no really snapping opportunities here, obviously. It is what he is. I really like him, but his stats just don't match up considering you can get a Ricky or a Barry or any running back now is a 99 speed. It just doesn't make sense from that standpoint. Now, let's see how we can little snipes we can get on the Ultimate Legends. Let's go over there. The 96, 97s, as I said in the last video, they are rising. They are rising pretty a lot considering yesterday I got this one's low for 220. So right now, I'm going to not be the time to be sniping these. I mean, if you can obviously find these for like... 240 go for it make your quick 10k not even i mean that's still a little cheap now you gotta get these for 230 230 makes your quick 15k ish but that's about it i mean i wouldn't really touch these right now until we know where this is coming to because the market's being very weird it's uh could this be the rest of the year very well likely could be where the market's just in a flux the rest of the year because people are dropping off madden and competitive players like you saw your boy savage he's done weekend league he's focusing on his series so like this could be the point of the year where a lot of these high priced cards like this or like all these high overall glitchy cards are less valuable and more making themes and other stuff is more valuable so you never know the market could be dead for the rest of the year like we have to see how this all goes so this could be time to capitalize for you guys this could be the time to just you know take advantage of it but as far as ultimate legend goes i would wait on these these are definitely going to be useful when the new vic lawrence taylor or any of those new glitchy glitchy cards that no matter who you are going to want them those are when these cards should go down a lot people are going to be selling to get that card so wait for that time to invest in these or try to snipe this out now oh you gotta check out the low overalls the low overalls are 15k snipe these out as per usual um you're gonna want to filter them you're gonna want them for about i'd go with damn i'd go with still 14k but it's a little more expensive okay so maybe stick to defense or maybe there's more gain on no i'd stick to defense yeah stick to defense get these for about 10k 8 to 10k obviously like i always say everything lower go for it if it's 150 coins still get it and then you just sell them. There's a lot of profit to be made here with the right patience. Think about it. If you sit here for about an hour, you could probably get like four to, four to eight of these. Probably for about like 11, 10, 9, 13. Probably make a quick 30K. Again, people always title their videos like how to make 100K in under an hour. Like, you can't definitively say that. You can say how to make millions, but how long? Because that, that's not definitive, right? If I say how to make millions, this will make you millions over how long the course of maybe a month worth of sniping makes you millions, right? But it's still a free million coins if you put the time and effort. That's the purpose of my video is that you can make a million if you put the time and effort. Other people are like, how to make 100k in under 30 minutes? Like, I don't know how justifiable that is because what if, what if there's, what if it's dead? What if everyone's at school and work and you don't get a single snipe now? What happened? I mean, like, I can title how to make millions. I can title these good, these are the best sniping filters. These really are. But I can't really definitively tell you how much you'll make. It's all down to your effort, you know, effort, time, consistency, you put that all in together and that gets you your profit. So, oh, that's a mouthful. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's about it for today's video. There's not much else. The market's kind of dead today, but do with this as you will, you know, st stay the course, keep waiting on it. 
don't sleep on these filters you know just keep grinding it out guys so thank you so much for watching and like i said if you enjoy my content and you enjoyed this video you like the new overlay i really like it a lot of people told me it was dope so hopefully i should animate the edges so you know go down below drop the sub and and the more support you guys show, as you guys can see that from day one to now, every more every bit of more support I get it gives me more confidence to be able to, you know, interact on camera more properly. Like, you know, day one I was shy as hell. I wasn't even speaking. Like, the more support I get, the more I'm getting more confident in this, the more I'm investing back into this. You guys see the lighting got better. The camera's amazing now. I got the overlay. I'm on Twitch. I got animations. I got a, a new graphic designer, so he hooked me up my whole channel, like, just keep just drop the sub and you guys will see every sub that you guys drop is one percent closer to change in this channel so just go over drop it comment like and down below and that's it i'll see you guys later i'm out